Welcome back. Joining us on the show now is Atul Ganatra. He's president at Cotton Association of India. Mr. Ganatra, hi. Thank you so much for joining us. I want to first start with the USDA report, which suggests that the Indian exports for this year are going to be at a 19-year lows. Last year, we've done a number of 42 lakh bales, and this time around, their estimate is of 23 lakh bales. What is your sense? Yeah, good afternoon, Manisha ji. Last year, our export of cotton was 42 lakh bales. But this year, at CI, we have expected cotton export will be around 30 lakh bales. But looking to higher Indian cotton rate, we may reduce cotton estimation export from 30 lakh bales to 25 lakh bales. Mm. And up to March, 11 to 12 lakh bales has been shipments are done. And mm. from April to September, 12 to 14 lakh more bales will go. So, yes, from last year, 42 to this year, 25 around 17 lakh bales export will be reduced. Okay. Also, looking to our lower cotton production and higher mm. Indian cotton consumption in future, very soon, Indian status of net cotton exporter country will change to net cotton importer country, Manisha ji. That doesn't sound so well, Mr. Ganatra. But yeah. uh, if you look at the global cotton prices, we are trading at a four-month low on that as well and as you said Indian cotton is not competitive at these current levels. If you look at the numbers across board do not look good. The global trade also has been at the lowest in last six years. There is weak demand from China, from Turkey, also from Bangladesh for that matter. How are you looking at uh, the current season for cotton globally also? Globally demand is less but what happened mm. in India after last two years huge profits done by the spinning mills. There are 20 lakh new spindles have been added in last 15 months and 10 more lakh spindles are in pipeline, which will be start up to September. So Indian mills, due to consumption is higher, Indian mills are having very good demand of cotton as they are running on 100% capacity and with small profit. So mm -hmm. Indian market at present, it is around 62 to 63,000 for Gujarat Sankar 629 mm. It mm. looks like the rate will be steady now, but these cotton arrivals are good now, so mills are getting cotton. But once uh, after May, arrivals will start reducing, then cotton prices will slowly go up, and we assume that cotton price may touch to 70 to 75,000 in June, July in India. So it is a good time for spinning mills to cover Manisha ji. Hmm. Mr. Ganatra, also, uh, uh, we've seen uh, prices come in on a positive side. Uh, from the lows, at least, we've seen buying come in right now. Uh, earlier, there was this concern about higher cotton prices and not too many spinning mills and uh, the capacities had gone down as well. Would you say that situation as of now seems to have cleared out? No, now it is cleared out. It is a good time for the spinning mills. Mills are making small profits and running 100% capacity. So from last two months, Indian mills are making profit and I am seeing good future of the Indian spinning mills because China is slowing down, Bangladesh is slowing down. So all this demand from China and Bangladesh are converted to India and we can see in Tirpur, hosiery business also, Tirpur exporters are having very good orders in hand for the summer and winter for the Europe and USA. Mm. Mr. Ganatra, also, what are the kind of arrivals that we are seeing into the market? You've said that the crop is lower than last year. The arrivals also have been on the weaker side. What is it uh, that the farmers are looking for in sense of returns? Up to March, we have received the arrival of 190 lakh bales compared to last time, same time, 250 lakh bales. So okay. this year we are uh, running behind by 60 lakh bales and looking to the arrival, everybody, 90% people in the, trend, the trade believe that crop is short and our yield will be the lowest in this year and we are expecting mm. the pressing will not go up more than 300 lakh bales up to September. So looking to our higher consumption and lower production, rate will go up in the coming months. 
and we okay. will be having a little tough time after june july yes manisha mm -hmm. ji mr ganatra i have one final question and as you said after being a net ex net exporter of cotton for years and decades if i may add we are turning yes. into a net importer here is there a representation that you as an association are making i mean are you approaching government do we need changes in measures right now definitely the main problem is our yields are reduced drastically India is having the lowest yield in the world. We can say 50% of the yield of against the Brazil, USA, Australia. So if we have to, if we want to survive in the textile industry, we have to bring the new seed technology immediately. And our production, which was one time 40 million bale, has reduced to 30 million bales. We have to bring new technology of the seed. We have taken up this issue with the many times with the government, and okay. talks are going on from last one or two years. But we have not seen any results for bringing the new seed technology. It is a need of our Manisha ji. Clearly. Okay, all right, uh, Mr. Ganatra. Thanks a lot for uh, stopping by, and Manisha as well. Thanks for uh, joining in and talking about uh, the commodities market. But let's get back to the equity market. Although the headline index is not showing it, uh, there's some pressure that's definitely creeping in, and it's all courtesy the IT names. So not just the frontline IT guys like Infosys, HCL Tech, Tech Mahindra, but now even the ones in the broader market. Remember, Tech, uh, TCS was the first uh, company to release its numbers and that cautionary note. But now that's taken the sentiment down with it across. Across the board, so something like an emphasis is also under a bit of pressure as we speak. And even in the broader markets, you know, a lot of financials are now coming off. Whether it's a Bandhan Bank, whether it's a PFC, REC, a couple of other names, Bank of Baroda, IDFC, First Bank, are all trending in the red as we speak. So not a great market at the moment. It's held up though by auto stocks and the consumption piece. So something like an Aisha Motors is your top nifty gainer. Dabur is doing quite well in the broader markets. So in that context, there are winners and losers. But largely, you'd have to say after eight straight days of a run up a little bit of a um, of give back is what we're seeing in the market at the moment but with that it's a wrap on this edition of half time report thanks a lot for watching though don't go anywhere a lot of action will be taken forward in our uh, program business lunch stay tuned